imagine being pulled behind a boat going up to 45 miles per hour on the water without water skis. Dangerous? Of course. But the adrenaline rush that comes with it is worth every second. There's much speculation about who the first barefooter was, but we do know that it all started in Winter Haven, Florida. As the story goes, teenager A.G. Hancock barefooted for the first time in 1947, but had no physical documentation of his exciting new trick. Dick Pope Jr. pulled off barefooting himself shortly after, this time in front of the camera. The first barefooting championships were held three years later at Cypress Gardens. Because the sport was so new, the competition was pretty much just a last man standing of it to see who could stay on their feet the longest. Now the Yankees weren't the only people gliding on the water. By 1963, the Australians held their first national competition. We have these fearless barefooters from the land down under to thank for the most controversial event in barefooting, the barefoot jump. In 1973, Cypress Gardens invited the Australians for an international competition, officially starting the global rivalry that continues today. In 1978, the first World Championships were held in Canberra, Australia, and the Australian team shocked the world with unheard of moves that US footers didn't even think were possible. Barefooting has come a long way in the last 71 years. Jumping has evolved from just trying to survive to going inverted and flying over 90 feet. From the early days of barefooting in speedos behind small outboards to padded suits and high power engines, skiers today make it look effortless.